Next, we have the variance. So, the variance is a measure of variability that utilizes all the data. So, unlike ranges, nga ang iyahara is ang duharang ka values, either ang highest or ang lowest, or Q1 or Q3, ra, si variance is tanan, ihanggi consider. So, it is based on the difference between the value of each observation, meaning, kani, imuhang mga x, values of your x, and the mean of your data set. So, again, your x and your mean. So, the variance is useful in comparing the variability of two or more variables. So, this is how you get the variance. The variance is the average of the squared differences between each data value and the mean. So, again, average of the squared differences. So, ang difference sa imuhang value, imuhang x, minus the mean, imuha na siyang squared, and then isum ni mo siya, i-divide ni mo siya sa n minus 1 for a sample, and then n ra for a population. So, muna na ang imuhang variance. So, let's do it the long way. Pwede na nito ka uno, sa kung siya i-hide. Let's do it the long way, no? Okay. So, that. so again, di ba, we have, this is already your x. Matangan dili sa ibang. This is already your x. And then, this should be your mean column. So, pila ganiya to ang mean. Tong mean is. Again. Na compute na ito ganina. Ito is 3940. I believe. Yeah. So, your, your mean is 3940. So, ano na siya i-copy niya. 39. Ah, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. Let's just type it. Naka formula bar, naka formula or naka function later. So, there, 3, 9, 40. So, that is your x and your mean. Now, we have to get the difference first of your x and your mean x bar. So, this is, kanina column is, tanimutan, x minus mean na column. Mga na, x minus mean na column. Let's move this. Okay, medyo, di, panjit ka siya. There. Okay. So, this. x minus mean na column. So, X minus your mean. Ba? Muna siya nga kalam. So, there you go. These are your values. And then, kailangan na siya naka-squared. Diba? Naka-squared siya. So, ito rin yung i-copy. This is the manual method ha. So, kung mag-compute ka manually, yun ani ang imuhang Buhatun. This is the manual method. Or ka ng formula nga ka ni. So, delete ni siya through Excel na way. So, here x minus mean. Mara siyang a raised to the power of 2. Diba? Na siya. So, we have these values. Let's change its format first so it won't be confusing. There. Okay, so that is your x or your squared difference. This is really your squared difference. Now, what's next? 
Imo siyang kwaon ang sum niya. So, ang sum ani, di ba? Summation mo na diya. So, ang sum, there is obus, the sum of kanina area. Your column J. So, the sum of this one. So, na kay sum of 3, 1, or 301, 8, 50. Ang sum. So, kani siya, mo na nang imuhang numerator. Now, your denominator is, for example, n minus 1 and for a population, kay n. So, in this case, diba, since this is a sample, so meaning our variance, therefore, if we compete for our variance, our variance is the summation of your square difference divided by your n minus 1. So, 12 minus 1, 11. So, your variance is 27, 440.91. So, that is how you compute for your variance. Manually. Again, manually ni siya. Manual method. Now, how do you compute it? Using Excel, we make use of the function nga var dot s so var dot s for single so if mo var dot s ta variance or var dot s for a sample kaya di ba lahi ba yung ang denominator ni sample ug ni population so you make use of s for sample p for population kana sa excel then um, instead of using kanimo mga computations, dili na ka mo agyan na ari na kabalik sa katong imuhang original na data. So, kano na lang imuhang um, koan sa imuhang variance. So, see, it would still arrive to the same amount. 27 for 40.91 Now, let's move on to standard deviation. Standard deviation of a data set is the positive square root of the variance. Again, it is the positive square root of the variance. Meaning, absolute siya. It's, it is measured in the same unit as a data, making it more easily interpreted than the variance. So, ang symbol sa standard deviation is kaning S ra. Diba? Ang variance mo is S squared man. So, S na lang. Ang square root niya, so meaning... Arita. Well, let's zoom out a, a little bit. So, your standard deviation, standard deviation is the square root of your variance. So, para ma enter kag square root sa Excel, SQRT rang nga function. And then, pili on ni mo ang imuhang variance. Again, escorting a function and then pili on mo imuhang variance. So, you have a standard deviation of 165.65. Na siya yung mga standard deviation. Now, how do you... I'm so sorry. How do you compute it? Or how do you find for the standard deviation using um, Excel? Make use of the function stdev. Then, dot S. Again, dot S for sample. P for population. So, equals stdev dot S. And then, instead of selecting your variance, diba? Sa kaning manual method na to, ato ang gi-select is ang variance. So, diri ato i-select is ang ato ang data values. So, still, you would arrive at the same value, which is 165 point oops 165.65 so that is how you compute for the standard deviation so 